Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, and we are here for the winners of round one of the Sauce Tomato Tomato Madness Brackets. And so we've got our winners all picked out. There were definitely some tough fights. A lot of them won by like one or two votes. I even had to call in a tiebreaker from the friend who's going to be hosting the canning garden because she's going to be the one making most of this sauce. So we had to get her votes and get a tiebreaker for not one, but two dead heats. Without further ado, let's get to the winners. Bracket number one was San Marzano versus Sheboygan. And San Marzano took the early lead, no question. Sheboygan did make a good effort catching up, but in the end, it was San Marzano. Next one, we had Federley versus Japanese black trifle. And this was a contest. It was going one way, then the other, then one way, then the other. We'd get a, a few votes here, a few votes for that one. So it was definitely right down to the wire. I had a definite favorite here. You know how much I love interesting tomatoes and the things that kind of look a little different. So I was definitely pulling for Japanese black trifle. And in the end, by three votes, Japanese black trifle pulled it out over Federley. Next up was Roma versus Pink Oxheart. And honestly, I was just going Pink Oxheart, Pink Oxheart, Pink Oxheart, Pink Oxheart. Eventually, Roma did get three votes, but the unquestioned winner here is the Pink Oxheart. Bracket number four, Amish Paste versus Apolka. And this was our first tie. So we had to call in Kristen, who is the person who is hosting the canning garden and doing the processing. So I let her break the tie. And so we ended up with a polka. Slightly surprising for me because she is a major fan of all things Amish. So I figured a tomato called Amish paste, she was going to grow it. Next up, Jersey Devil versus Costaludo Genovese. This was a tight race again also, and we had it pull out by just one single vote. And we have the winner, Costaludo Genovese. Then we come to Mushroom Basket versus Hungarian Heart. This was our second tie. And so again, we called in Kristen as she's hosting the canning garden and she chose Hungarian Heart. Stop. This is where I would normally pull in the top two losers for the wild card bracket but it's gonna work a little bit differently this time around because in the first video, I made a mistake. When I did this, I went through my seeds and I pulled out all the sauce tomatoes. What I forgot though is that two seeds are on my list of sauce tomatoes, but I don't physically have the packets at the moment. They are seeds that Kristen has that she was giving me for this year to throw into the brackets and maybe be growing in her yard. So, my wild card is going to include the two seed packets that did not make it into round one. So they got a pass on round one and they're gonna make it right here into round two. So we're gonna put up our wild card. So that's going to be striped. Roma versus Ukrainian purple. So let's go talk about those and the other ones that we're gonna be voting for this week, your new brackets. So here are your brackets for round two. You're going to be voting for San Marzano versus Apolka. Japanese black trifle versus Costaludo Genovese. Pink Oxheart versus 
Hungarian heart. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. And then the final two that I don't actually physically have the packets in hand for, but that's going to be Striped Roma versus Ukrainian Purple. So these are two cool looking tomatoes, so you know I can't choose between them because I want to grow them all. Remember, you're voting four times. You're voting for four different tomatoes, one in each of those brackets. So voting will be open until Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, at which point I will tally the votes, we'll get the winners of the sauce tomato round, and then we get on to the really fun, really exciting part, which is the slicer tomatoes. And that's gonna be huge. We're gonna have to do several rounds of that because I don't have 16, I don't have 32. I think I have um, probably closer to 40 something slicing tomatoes. I think it's gonna be so much fun because there's such variety of colors and sizes and shapes and striping and all these things. Like, I'll tell you, I did find some other fun tomatoes, but I am being really good and I am not buying more seeds because I am saving for my homestead. So I did not buy them, but they are on the list for next year, like Amethyst Jewel, Rebel Starfighter Prime. So there's a few things there that I have on the list for next year that like, really cool. I'm gonna definitely cross some of these fun tomatoes we're gonna be growing this year and see what we can come up with. But that's all kind of future stuff. But go ahead, put your votes in the comments and we will see you in our next video where we grow more wicked awesome food from yard to table. Thank you. Bye-bye.